Hey, Dave, I wanted to record you this short video to give you a little bit of a personalized guide on what Mesmerize has on offer and basically how to use it. So uh, there are a lot of options in Mesmerize to help people. We created this preset screen where when you first open the app, it asks you, what do you need help with today? And there's a lot of options that you can choose from. You can also search for an option, like let's say we choose sleep, for example, and you can see all the different presets that we have coded for sleep. You know, for example, if you choose bedtime story, it's going to pick a random bedtime story from the library. Same thing with sleep journey. Um, some of these presets go to specific scripts. So for example, lucid dreaming goes to a very specific lucid dreaming script that you can listen to that will help you lucid dream. Um, and so, you know, there's a lot here in terms of the presets that gets you quickly to what you want. Now, we are making some improvements to search so that uh, pretty soon you'll be able to actually just type into search. And it's not only going to search the presets, but also search the narrations and the soundscapes and whatever content that you have starred. So uh, a lot of uh, fun things already there, a lot more uh, coming. But let's say, for example, we choose relieving anxiety. It's going to point us to a relieving anxiety preset script that this we think is, is really good for it. I'm going to go ahead and pause it so that I can uh, uh, so that I can actually do the rest of the walkthrough. But if you tap the screen here, you'll see that the controls actually come up. Um, and in these controls, we have a lot of options. So the first thing that we can do is we can change the narrations. Uh, if we tap the narration, it's going to pull up the content selector. And you can see up here, there's little like pill shaped icons that say all starred, new meditation, sleep meditation. So these are the different categories of content that we have. Uh, we have a lot of, of stuff. Uh, one of my favorite categories is actually sleepy history. This is content that's based on historical events, but we kind of make them into bedtime stories. Uh, if you tap on a narration, you can see the uh, description about that so you can read about it. You can see if there are multiple narrators. And for this example, there's you know five. Um, and you can go ahead and play it if you wanted to. Again, we have lots of content uh, to look through. Uh, it depends on what you really want. You can also search for particular pieces of content. Um, so yeah, I mean, you, and then if, if you don't want to listen to narrations at all, you could of course turn off the narration, which is that turn off narration button. If there's something you particularly like, you can star it. So here at the top right, you can see, I'll just star a couple of these for an example. And then if you go to your starred section, you can see that these will appear here for you. So just kind of easy access. And there's a random star button such that, let's say you have a number of stuff that you've starred, you can just, you know, just like pick something randomly. The system will pick something randomly for you, right? So, uh, that's the narration. You can also kind of fast forward and rewind here. You'll see that this little time scrubber down here allows you to go forward and backward. And you can also control the volume independently of the narration from the time scrubber. Uh, moving on to soundscape. The soundscape, uh, one of the very unique things about Mesmerize is that it allows you to control the soundscape separate from the narration. So you can actually pair any soundscape with any narration. Uh, there's tons of soundscapes to choose from. You know, again, here at the top, we have different categories. Uh, one of my favorite categories is soothing music. So these are musical compositions that are very specifically designed to put your body into deep relaxation. And if, for example, I tap wind instrument, you can read the description of wind instrument, but you can also see the techniques here that we're using. So things like the ISO principle, um, you know, very environmental cross-modal adaptation. You know, some of these have very technical names, but you can read about them and, and what they actually do. Um, these are really cool pieces. We have an in-house team that actually creates the content, and they spend a lot of time taking um, some of the great uh, principles from scientific, academic, and clinical research and turning them into pieces of music that people actually love and, and enjoy. Uh, you know, we, we call it uh, turning research into reality. Uh, so it's, we spent a lot of time on it. We're very proud of it. And it's something that um, I think works extremely well. But also we have more simple categories. So for example, nature, these are just simple nature sounds. So, you know, if you, if you want something that is uh, just a little bit 
more simple, you know, mountain stream, distant thunderstorm, rain, these types of things. We also have you know, lo-fi music, which a lot of people love. We have focus music. So this is music engineered specifically to help you get in the zone, um, you know, help you get work done. So lots to choose from here. And a lot of these focus pieces, we often have two types of intensities. We have low intensity and high intensity. Low intensity is better for um, kind of like lower cognitive tasks. If you're reading, it, you know, if you are just going through emails, high intensity is usually better for higher cognitive tasks. So if you're trying to write something, if you're trying to create, um, that, that generally is, is better with high intensity focus music. All of this stuff, though, is really comes down to personal preference. So, you know, you, you might just experiment and find what works best for you. There's lots of pieces here to choose from and, and different intensities. We also have breathing. Uh, breathing is a really cool category. So these are literally breathing sounds that you can just listen to and follow along with. And uh, a lot of people love these as part of their meditation practice. We have the brainwaves category. So binaural beats, isochronic tones, these types of things. Um, meditation sounds, home chant, singing bowl, also good for med med uh, your meditation practice. We have some experimental sounds, which are just kind of fun pieces that are um, content team created. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not for something, anything particularly specific, but we were just trying things and we really like these pieces. So we published them to the app. We have a category of relaxing piano. This is just, you know, piano, like famous piano pieces that are, are, are played in a relaxing style and tone. And then, of course, a huge white noise category, tons of, of, you know, white noise, pink noise, brown noise, gray noise, industrial fan, you know, trains, whatever you might like and, and appreciate. We have tons of white noise. If there's something in here that you want that we don't have, just email us and we'll usually figure it out and add it to the app pretty quickly. So that is the uh, soundscape selector. Again, any soundscape can go with any narration. And then beyond that, uh, you can control the soundscape volume separately from the narration volume, which is kind of handy. Uh, if you want to just have fun, you can just hit the random button and it will just, you know, randomly put pieces together, right? So it's probably not that useful in practice, but, you know, people love random, like random exploration. Maybe you can find something interesting um, as you go through that. There's, of course, a lot of video. So there's a lot of settings. Um, you know, Mesmerize is very configurable. So there are video settings. You know, for example, you can only watch your favorite videos if you want to instead of just all the videos in the feed. There's a sleep timer that automatically shuts off Mesmerize at a, you know, after a given period of time. There's visual breathing, which is really cool. This will actually make the visuals speed up and slow down in accordance to a particular breathing pattern. And, you know, we have some here encoded in the app, you know, it'll say like inhale, hold, exhale, hold cycles, uh, but you could also add your own as well pretty easily by hitting that plus sign at the top right. So uh, visual breathing is cool. I'd, I'd definitely try it. Video roulette, you know, if you are just want the video to automatically change after a set period of time, that can be useful. Uh, video speed, so you can control video speed in two ways. One with this setting. So if you tap on it, you can make the video go faster or you can make it go slower. You can also do this with a uh, pinch gesture. So you can't really see me doing this, but I'm actually like pinching the screen and expanding the screen and that'll make the video go faster or slower. That's kind of cool. Um, uh, you can airplay the screen if you like, if you have an airplay compatible device. And of course you can clear the video cache. So if you, you know, when you watch videos, they're downloaded to your device so you can have access to them offline. If for whatever reason you want to delete them off your device, you can hit clear video cache and I'll do it. Uh, audio settings, uh, a couple of robust audio settings. You can use background audio. So another unique Mesmerize feature is that you can play Mesmerize audio while other audio plays. So if you're listening to a podcast or a YouTube video, you could listen to both that you know podcast and Mesmerize simultaneously if you wanted to. Um, you can choose whether or not you want Mesmerize to autoplay once you... Uh, open the app, you can loop the narration. So if you want to listen to it over and over again, you can choose the narration speed. You can choose 3D voice. 3D voice is kind of a, a fun, it like simulates the voice moving around your head and you can actually control how fast it's moving. By default, you know, do one revolution every 18 seconds, but that's up to you. And similarly to clearing the video cache, you can clear the music cache and the narration cache too. 
then there's just uh, some long tail settings, like if you want to see the tutorial again from when you first open the app. Uh, the quick start menu, which is that first, you know, what do you need help with today screen, if you want that to appear or not, when you first open the app, you can control that. You can set reminders. So, you know, if you want a particular reminder to, to do a, you know, a narration or listen to a soundscape or do an exercise at a particular time of day, you can set that reminder pretty easily. Uh, you can hook up Mesmerize to Health Kit, so it will track your mindful minutes. Uh, you can set a Siri shortcut if you want. You know, learn a little, there's a there's a cool science of mesmerize article on our website. You can learn more about that. We we take the science of what we do pretty seriously, so that's kind of a fun read. Um, you can join our Telegram community. So if you want to communicate directly to us uh, easily, we have a Telegram chat set up for that. A lot of interesting members over there, and that basically rounds it out. Uh, those are kind of the most of the settings. Um, here for the videos, of course, you can you know just scroll, swipe up or down. And change the video if you tap and hold it'll hard it so that'll add it to your favorites and then oh that was already in my favorite so if you tap and hold it hearts if you tap and hold again on favorites um i guess i gave you a pretty good breakdown of what was in the soundscape menu maybe just another moment for narrations because i didn't break it down as much um so we have meditations so lots and lots of meditations to to choose from um some to call out that are kind of interesting resonate and uh, meditations that say here let's scroll down meditations that say breathing um here we're, we're almost there okay yeah qualities of breathing somatic awareness breathing mindfulness breathing these meditations actually have a breathing guide built into them so when you're listening to it it'll guide you to breathe at your resonant frequency and so that can be really helpful if you've struggled with um, kind of breathing at a particular pace. You can hear the breathing guide in the narration, and it can help guide you to breathe at that pace. They're they're pretty cool, and a lot of people really like them. Frankly, there's there's tons of meditations to choose from at all different kinds of time lengths, so you can pick something that that's good for you. We have the sleep meditations, uh, so you can listen to these before you go to bed. Uh, that can be um, really helpful depending on. Uh, you know, if you're in it like really amped up, you're, you're thinking a lot, you know, your, your, your body is in the state of what scientifically we call hyper arousal. Uh, this, these can be really great at kind of calming you down, getting you into a rest and digest out of fight and flight and getting you to, to sleep well. We have a ton of hypnosis content. So um, last year we hired a PhD clinical psychologist who is also an incredible hypnotist and he's written uh, a ton of great hypnosis content. So we have hypnosis, you know, anxiety, panic attack, breaking bad habits, depression, stress relief, detaching from chronic pain. I mean, there's, there's just so much here to explore. Um, and, you, you know, you have the uh, really great um, knowledge that the, the person creating this is a very sophisticated person. And, you know, we, you can even read about the, the technique of clinical hypnosis that we're using here. It's really well cited. He's incredibly knowledgeable and very gifted at these. We're incredibly grateful for the, the content he has written. I mean, there's so much of it. And not only can you use it for daytime hypnosis, but almost every one of these scripts has the sleep hypnosis version. So if you'd rather listen to it going to bed, you can do so. And that um, that can work really well. We have sleep journeys. These are kind of um, like if you're if, if you want to go on a destination sort of like travel sleep so right before you go to bed you can listen to these it will transport you to a place and a time and, and take you through like a gentle journey through that place they're pretty relaxing and, and enjoyable a lot of people really love these of course we have sleepy stories which are our version of bedtime stories um, lots of interesting stories here some of them are takes of old bedtime stories made for, you know, adults, but, you know, kids can listen to them too. There's no like really crazy adult themes. We have dreamy myths. These are, uh, we, we took a, a, a public domain book called the book of myths and we created a, a sleep series out of them. Each one is a story of a God or goddess of ancient Rome or, or Greece. And it tells you, you know, uh, an interesting, it weaves an interesting story or tale about about these folks F fun to listen to um you will also probably fall asleep just listening to some of these old time words that are used <laughs> it is very much old language 
So you'll you'll run into some some interesting words there, and it's kind of fun. Uh, I told you about sleepy history before. There's the affirmation section. So affirmations have a you know there's a there's a 12 minute script here, which are kind of general affirmations. They're very specific ones, like creativity flows through me. I am at a safe. Uh, I'm at, I am safe and at peace. You can listen to these specifically if you want. If you if you want to drive home a particular affirmation. We have nap meditations. These are great for quick naps. You know, we have at different lengths and, and different techniques in here. Uh, we have nap hypnosis. So uh, only one script right now, but the similar to a nap meditation, but using clinical hypnosis instead of some of the mindfulness meditation techniques. Okay, so that should round out a lot of what the app has to offer. And of course, you know, if you're on the screen, if you tap on exit at the top left, It'll take you back to uh, the search page where it'll ask you what you need help with today, and you can pick another preset to easily access what you want. Hopefully, uh, this is what you were looking for in terms of a walkthrough of Mesmerize. If there are any other questions that I can answer, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask. We're always here to help. All right, take care. Have a wonderful day.